If you've seen some of my recent videos, perhaps the series about how we made our new small hen house when we moved into town, you might have noticed that I painted my hen house. Now that's not too unusual. Lots of people paint their chicken house. It can be as fancy as you like. But hang on a minute, I didn't just paint the outside of my hen house. I also painted the inside and I painted it white. How crazy is that? Anyone who has chickens knows that along with chickens comes chicken poop. Plus, since chickens clean themselves by bathing in dirt, yep, that's what dust bathing is, then you can imagine that the inside of most hen houses is, shall we say, rustic. My previous chicken house was mostly unpainted wood on the inside, and I kind of thought that was about normal for a hen house. After all, a chicken house is going to accumulate a fair amount of dust and dirt from chicken feathers and grubby feet. So it might as well have an outdoorsy, agricultural kind of ambience, right? But when we built our new hen house, I thought very carefully about lots of different design details, and I realised that actually it would be a good idea to paint the inside. So why would I ever think such a thing? How crazy is that? Wouldn't painting the inside of my hen house make it a nightmare to keep looking clean and neat? And especially white. Strangely enough, I painted the inside of my hen house precisely in order to make it less work to keep clean and hygienic. And one of the main reasons for doing that is this little nasty called a red mite. This tiny little beastie is officially named Dermanesis gallinae. It likes to drink the blood of chickens. It's quite small, a bit under one millimetre, but big enough for you to see without a microscope. About the size of a pinhead, as you can see, much smaller than a match head. A severe infestation of red mites can drink up to 5% of your chicken's whole blood volume each night. As you can imagine, constant and repeated blood loss makes the chicken hungry and weak from loss of blood as well as restless and itchy from the bites. And your poor chickens don't have much chance against these little hordes of bloodsuckers. Every night after a blood feed, one adult female mite lays a clutch of up to seven eggs. Two or three days later, the eggs hatch into six-legged larvae. A day later, the larvae molts to a protonymph. The protonymphs emerge and search out your chickens as they sleep warm and unsuspecting in their house at night. Once the protonymphs have had their feed, they can continue to mature into deutonymphs and then two days later into the adult mites, which again seek out the blood of chickens in order to mate and lay more eggs. In the warm months of summer, this whole life cycle from mite egg to seven new mature mites can take as little as five days. If the weather is warm and there are enough chickens around for the mites to feed on, in just 12 weeks, there can be 13 quadrillion mites. That's a 13 with nine zeros after it. But before you rush out to check over your chickens for the presence of these tiny mites, you need to know that you won't find any red mites on your birds. Just like the vampires beloved of Hollywood, these mites only come out to feast on their chicken banquet after dark. When night falls, the air temperature drops and the mites know it's time. They crawl out of hiding and up the bird's legs, wriggle between the feathers and latch on for about two hours, feeding on the chicken's blood. When day breaks, they use pheromones to signal to each other that the sun is rising and the chickens are leaving a house, and they sneak away to hide in the crevices of your hen house. Their favourite place of all is under the perch where it's attached to the hen house wall. This is why I never fix my perches permanently. 
I always leave them free so I can easily check underneath for even just a few mites before they have a chance to multiply into thousands. Because the wall is white, it would be easy to see any mites lurking under the perch. When we were building my new chicken house, we glued up all the joints so there could be no cracks or rough surfaces for any mites to crawl into. And before I finished painting the inside, I sealed around all the joints. And I chose white for a couple of other reasons too. As well as making it easy to see any signs of mites, the pale colour reflects and maximises the available natural light. Along with a clear polycarbonate on the windows and doors, that means a well-lit chicken house that the hens are happy to go into. Plus, the hens get the benefit of the maximum number of daylight hours between dawn and dusk. And as you know, if you've watched some of my other videos, the chicken's perception of daylight hours largely controls her egg laying.